Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, welcome. I do videos regarding beauty, fragrance, hauls, and many more things. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0 Intense. The packaging, as always, I think she comes out with the most beautiful packaging ever. And then you have her right here in the back. Super, super adorable, super cute. This I was able to get at Ulta. I think it's exclusive to Ulta only. And this is a 100ml bottle. Let's go ahead and look at the presentation of this. So if we look at this, it's kind of like a navy blue cloud. And when you take it out here, we have the fragrance, which is a very beautiful white. I'm not sure if you can catch that with a little cloud. Very beautiful. And you put it back in there and it's just beautiful. So let's talk about the pricing. The, this was about $70 and I got it delivered to my house. It took about a week. Ulta is pretty good about delivering on all of that. So I was very excited for this. I do want to compare the regular cloud to the 2.0 just because I want to know what the difference is. So I'll be reading both of their notes so we can talk about it. So for the Ariana Cloud 2.0 Intense, for this version, the main accords are sweet, musky, amber, woody, lactonic, vanilla, coconut, and powdery. The top notes are lavender, bergamot, and pear. Middle notes of whipped cream, coconut, praline, vanilla orchid, and base notes of ambroxan, cashmere, woodsy notes, and musk. So I tried this out already. I went to sleep with this and I sprayed about five sprays on myself. When I woke up, I still smelt this. It's pretty long lasting if you ask me compared to the regular cloud. The notes for the regular cloud are as follows. So for the regular cloud fragrance, for this one, the top notes are lavender, pear, and bergamot, middle notes of whipped cream, praline, coconut, vanilla orchid, and base notes of musk and woody notes. The only thing that I've noticed a difference on both fragrances is what they added on to the new cloud which is ambroxan and cashmere and helps with the longevity of the fragrance and the performance of it so that's basically the only difference do i smell a little bit more of a cashmere on this one i do but it's not an overwhelming amount if you already have the regular cloud do i think that you should go ahead and purchase the 2.0 I don't think so. It's not necessary. If you collect these items, then by all means, go for it. Can you tell a difference? Not that much. You can kind of slightly smell the cashmere here, but not really. I do like that this one is long lasting. I feel like more than this one because they added the Ambroxan, but overall they smell pretty, pretty, pretty identical. So if you already have one, I don't think you need both. But if you're like me and you love Ari, then go ahead and purchase it. But that is it. I think that I was expecting a little bit more out of the intense version, not an addition of two notes. But overall, I love Cloud. I really like this new presentation as well. So it's a beautiful fragrance if you have not smelled them. Or if you, for some reason, don't have either of these and you were thinking about purchasing one, I would say go into store and try them both out in your skin and see what you like better. 
if you are just now going to get it I would suggest that if you don't have the regular one you go and get the 2.0 just because the longevity on this is way way longer and also it's a better bang for your buck because you're spending $70 for a fragrance that's gonna last longer now if you're a person that likes the packaging a lot I feel like I like the regular cloud a little bit more just because it's more of a cloud to me compared to this one I feel like she was trying to go for a darker cloud more of an evening scent if maybe that's what she was going for I'm not sure but as far as looks go I really like the cloud also I did not say but you can always take it out of the cloud if that's not something that you're into and just have it like this on its own is beautiful so either or it's a great purchase but again if you don't know which one to get I would suggest the intense version just because like I said previously it's going to last a little bit longer on your skin and the projection is a little bit you know better on it and that's it that's all my thoughts on this I was very excited to finally get this in the mail because I've said it a million times, I'm a big Ariana Grande fan and as soon as she comes out with something, I'm like down to purchase it like super fast. But the presentation is really nice. I just really like that. It's very versatile. You can just take it off if you don't like the cloud and put it back in if you do. I think they're both absolutely worth it. So at the end of the day, make sure that you purchase what makes you happy and you do what makes you happy and what fits your lifestyle and budget. Again, if you cannot get your hands on either of these fragrances, you can always buy the body mist on your local stores such as Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington. All of those tend to have all, most of the Ariana Grande fragrances at some point or throughout the year. So if you cannot get your hands on the perfume, you can always get the body mist and that will do as well. And with that being said, we're going to end it on that note. Let, let me know what's your favorite Ariana Grande perfume and I will see you in the next one. Bye.